all the cultures in the world, they have a common thing that they revere human life. Yes. Taking away your own life or somebody else's life is not considered proper. But if, if one is really suffering, one has got a bad deal in this life, then why can't just one, you know, start a new game, end this one and restart the game? Is there anything wrong with that? So if I have a bad deal, don't I have the right to shut it up and come back again? If you have a bad deal with your job, you could just quit. If you have a bad deal with your marriage, you could just divorce. If you have a bad deal with the society in which you live, you can come to Isha Yoga Center. <laughs> If you have a bad deal in Isha Yoga Center, you can go up the mountain. So, these are not good enough reasons for you to end the process of life. First of all, you didn't create it. So, you don't talk about ending it. Unless your identity as a separate being or a separate person has, has disappeared and you and the source of creation are just the same. If you come to that point, then you can just throw away your body consciously. Then you're allowed to do it. Not by damaging the body, not by hanging from a tree. We don't mind burying you under the tree. But hanging from a tree is neither good for you nor for the tree. <laughs> we already looked at this, whether it's a good deal or a bad deal, if you have a larger purpose, everything is a stepping stone. Everything is a stepping stone for your ultimate well-being, if you have set the larger goal. Every situation that you get into, you are getting so identified and caught up with it, now it feels like it's better to end your life. <clears throat> anyway, this is lot of bull. Because today something is going wrong, you want to end your life. Tomorrow morning something is going right, you want to live. You want to have your third baby. You want to get married once again. If things are going little better tomorrow morning, you'll have plans. Everything looks bleak, you think of suicide, isn't it? So this is just a game that you're playing in your mind. It once happened. A salesman decided to go into a new development, housing development. He thought no other salesman would have still ventured yet because it's a new development. So he wanted to be the first one, be the early bird. So he went and knocked on the very first house that he saw there. A lady came and opened the door without giving her a chance. He just slipped into her house, took a lot of cow dung, fresh cow dung from his bag and threw it all over the new carpet. And he said, see I have a wonder vacuum cleaner. You watch it. I'll clean this carpet without even leaving the slightest of odor. If I don't do it, I will eat every piece of this cow dung myself, I will eat it. 
So the lady asked, would you like some tomato sauce? <laughs> because we still do not have electricity in the house. <laughs> What you need is a little bit of tomato sauce. <laughs> Tastes a little good, then you suddenly want to live. Just eating cow dung, you feel like dying. <laughs> you stood up and said, Sadhguru, if you know what you are uttering, such nonsense should not come out of your mouth. There is no meaning to Sadhguru when you are wanting to end your life because it's not worthwhile sitting here, that's what you're telling me. <laughs> it's not worthwhile sitting here. You're not in grace, you're somewhere about how your job is not working, how your family is freaking you, how something else is happening. That's all you're thinking about. Just be here. Suddenly it'll be worthwhile. I'll make it worthwhile.